this is not a support of Biden or Trump video because it doesn't matter. What matters are facts. And the fact is that these are the scores so far. Warning, if you hear somebody saying, I want to call the vote now, I'm going to give you the results that they're probably ignoring even though they're in black and white. Last night when I went to bed, Biden had 238 electoral votes, 68 million votes from the people, and 49.9% of the vote. Now, I don't know if you understand that, but that's just short of exactly 50%. Trump had 213 electoral votes, which means he lost 48.8% or 48.4% of the popular vote, which means he lost, and 66 million of our votes. He was 2 million shy of being able to beat. Today we're going to talk about the number of states as well, because I didn't count that last night. Biden has 24 of the, tw of the states, Trump has 23, and the electoral votes are the same except... Trump gained one electoral vote. He has to have 270 to win without having a, an argument over it. He has 48.2% of the vote lower, and 50.2% has gone to Biden. By legal definition, if you call the vote right now, he has over half of the popular vote, which would take precedence at this point, along with him having more of the electoral votes. You demanding to call the vote right now. I have to say this over and over again. Not to normal Republicans. Most of you are looking at that and saying, yeah, it's not done yet. It's nowhere near done. There's a 3 million vote gap, approximately. Uh, Trump has 67.5 million, almost exactly, votes. And Biden has a little over 70 million. That's a 3 million vote gap versus 2. No, this isn't some mysterious thing. It's the same condition it was yesterday. Trump gained an electoral vote, which is all he got before. Trump lost to Hillary Clinton by 3 million votes, almost exactly 3 million, a little under it actually, in 2016. But it was because of the electoral college vote that he won. There are three parameters primarily cited by people who say that these are the criteria you use when there's a split election. The number of electoral votes is supposed to prevent that. <clears throat> Biden wins. Okay, the number of people popular vote isn't actually treated number two. The number of states won. Biden won one more state than Trump. That's it. Again, Biden wins. And then again, finally, the population. He won by three million votes. Trump declaring flawless victory yesterday has no basis in any way of interpreting these numbers. Constantly repeating that this election will be rigged is him predictively programming you to accept that you are not allowed to, call, to have the vote matter. Your vote doesn't count. And not only doesn't your vote count, the entire legal system in the United States doesn't count. Again, one of many reasons I don't want him to be president is because he undermines literally what it means to be able to vote or not vote him in. <laughs> Again, for the umpteenth time. A little over half the population of this country wants him to not be president the second time in a row. Lying about that over and over again doesn't change what actually happened. Because of COVID-19, <coughs> and very slightly, not, a, not, not really a big deal, if you're a Democrat, really listen here. Partially the reason we have a delayed vote count is because of Trump. Not because, primarily. Primarily, it's because of COVID-19 and the entire country being in disarray. If you really believe Trump could cause more mayhem than a pandemic, it might seem that way, but he really doesn't. Him putting people in position and he, him putting the thought in your head that the, the elections are always rigged, I want you to consider another factor that, again, makes him to where I don't want him in, a, in office. This is my opinion. It has nothing to do with yours. After he won an election, he claimed the, the election that he won was rigged. That doesn't say rational. Okay, these are my, this is one of hundreds of thousands of things this guy has done to convince me that I simply don't like him. That's not relevant, but that's what I'm gonna base votes on. That's what I would base a vote on. A lot of you are doing the same thing. Um, I don't particularly like the Republican party. That's like a 1% click, I, it doesn't matter. Normally every other year I vote Republican or Democrat local elections back and forth because I don't let incumbents stay in place. The best way to do that is to pick alternate parties until they get so confused they give up trying to manipulate us. But you do what you do. Trump literally lying about the voting process in this country 
even when it goes his own way, isn't helpful or rational for him. He doesn't gain anything from it. Okay, that's enough of me talking about him. But one more thing I'm going to do, because it is never enough. The shit the guy says makes us not a superpower on this planet. The United States is a superpower. No. When World War II happened and everyone put their Democrat and Republican bullshit aside and turned into a gigantic, unbeatable machine and just barely won a war, united we stand, divided we fall. We have been a 50-50 split ever since Hillary Clinton was put in that position. Yes, they should have put in Bernie Sanders and the Democratic Party is just as stubborn and stupid as Trump behaves on a daily basis. They don't admit that they should have given us what we wanted. <clears throat> That's my nasty opinion of the Democratic Party. They just don't listen to their constituency. They don't care. Yeah, I don't like the Democratic Party. But the Republican Party has people who are willing to uh, use situational ethics or reality. Oh, the situation isn't going my way? I'll say the exact opposite of what I believed two years ago because it suits me. If you want the election called right now, Biden wins. If you want to ignore the popular vote, Biden wins. If you want to ignore the Electoral College for some fucking reason, he, lo- he wins because he has one more state than Trump, at least the last time I checked. But you're paying attention to the pink states. Pink states? Yes, the ones that are undecided. Let's talk about those really quickly. Let's talk about Nevada. It has 67% of the votes counted, but it's declaring primarily Joe Biden. It's such a tight race. Why the hell would you do that? Let's talk about Georgia. The 95% reporting, but they're literally, wow, 82,000 votes difference? You don't think that's going to change? Screaming preemptively, predictive programmingly, that this is a rigged election and I'm the winner when every single indicator says you didn't win <clears throat> yesterday and it being backed up today is dumb. Trump won one more state. So you're going to ignore the Electoral College vote and us voting. He's lost by 3 million votes, again. Do do you really want a reality where voting doesn't mean anything? If that's what your goal is, if you just say, I want to be in power. Last thing. The United States as a country is a superpower when we all work towards a goal. When exactly half the population is arguing with the other, we don't get anything done. Next, a tiny, not the majority of Republicans, a tiny minority of Republicans simply want to make half the population of the country angry and miserable for another four years because it makes them feel powerful. Not because it accomplishes any damn thing, and you know it, because all of you know that, including other Republicans. Acknowledge it. And very importantly, there's Democrats like that too. They just want to watch the world burn. Own it. And they are making the rest of us their puppets to keep us from getting any damn thing done. And until you learn that, we don't go to space. Elon Musk does. We aren't a superpower. India is. Yeah, India and Pakistan could join together. They have nukes. Do you want to be a superpower? Or do you want to just win a fucking argument for one position in a huge bunch of them in civil service in the United States? Are you going to pick your right battle or the dumb one? Two sparrows tied together will always fall. We're a house divided, and we have been for four years. And I'm sorry, the last thing I gotta say about Trump, he makes that worse because all he cares about is himself. None of his characteristics make him a good president, and right now we don't need him. And in case you haven't noticed, China's gonna take over the Pacific Rim, and we have no say in it because he locked us out of that too. If you call the election today, Trump loses in every way I can find. Unless you're literally planning on murdering everybody in the United States to make a point. And some of you have been talking about that a little bit too much lately. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. I wish everyone luck with this. And it's okay if he becomes president. At this point, we've dealt with him for four years. I'm not caring anymore. I think he's just doing it so that he can have some more fun. I'd just rather he wasn't there. That's it. But if you call it right now, you lose. Either way.